Hi everyone, this is Yasa from the Journalist IT. Welcome to my video guide how to install WordPress step by step. This tutorial is part of my WordPress basic series that I use for all of my WordPress courses online. In this series I demonstrate how to install and configure WordPress on some of the most popular hosting platforms. And today, Cloudways VPS. The first step for installing WordPress on Cloudways VPS account is of course to own one. To do that, you can browse to cloudways.com or click on the link just below this video player in the description. Once at cloudways.com homepage, you need to click on the get started for free button to start a 14 days free trial. As I already own a Cloudways account, I'm going to close this tab and go straight to my dashboard. When you create a new Cloudways account, then the Add New Server wizard starts automatically because you don't have a server attached to your account. Since I already have one, I'm going to click on Add Server. The Add New Server wizard is really self-explanatory. Choose App to Install, name your app, name your server, and attach your server to a project for better management of your account. Now let's go ahead and install our WordPress application. For the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to choose WordPress Optimize, but you can also choose WordPress with WooCommerce for e-commerce site or even WordPress multi-site. The meaning of Optimize is that Cloudways WordPress setup comes built in with caching plugin and some pre-configured settings for better performance. I'm going to choose WordPress Optimize, I'm going to give it a name, my WordPress site. I'm going to give the server a name, again my WordPress site, and for project I'm going to choose teaching. The next step will be to choose the managed platform. I strongly suggest to go with DigitalOcean. They are the cheapest yet most efficient platform to choose for your WordPress installation. The next step will be to choose our server size. Server size means how many CPU cores and how much memory we allocate to our server. More resources mean that our server will perform faster, but also it will be more expensive. For small sites with low traffic or in development mode, you can choose the smallest server available and then add resources as you go. Remember, this is one of the best things about Cloudways VPS. You can always monitor your server and add resources if needed with just a few simple clicks. Since this server is for teaching and demo purposes, I'm in fact going to choose the smallest server possible. The last step of this wizard will be to choose location for the server. You should choose a location as close as possible to your target audience. So if your target audience are located in London or in Europe, choose a server in that region. If your target audience are placed in San Diego or New York, choose that location as the location for your server. I'm going to stick with London. And now the last thing to do is simply to click on launch now. And now we get a message on the screen saying that the server and in this case the server and the application are being installed and it will take approximately seven minutes to complete. So I'm going to pause the video now and I will resume once the application is ready. So we are back with our server and application up and running. In order to access our applications, we need to click here on the www icon next to the server name. And from the list of applications, choose our application. In this case, my WordPress site. Here, under application management, we have our application URL. And clicking on that icon will bring up the site. But as you can see, it is something.cloudwaysapp.com, not our domain name. This is clearly not what we want. So we're going to close this tab and go back to application management. And here we have a setting called domain management. I'm not going to get into the specifics of this feature because it may change a lot between one user to the other, depending on where your domain is registered and managed but I am going to strongly suggest that you click here on the link that says more details. It will bring up a support document provided by Cloudways on how to bind your domain to your WordPress application. So I strongly suggest that you go over this document 
and bind your domain to your WordPress application so you can use it. One last thing to note is the access details to your WordPress application. So if we go back to the access details, we have not only our domain name and the link to, to bring up the website, we also have our admin panel. So by clicking on this icon under admin panel, we'll bring up our WordPress login page. We can copy our username and also copy our password and then log in. And our site is up and running. Now, if you remember, we chose an optimized installation of WordPress and I told you that it comes with a caching plugin and some settings. So as you can see here at the top, we have a performance tab. This is basically the W3 Total Cache plugin that comes pre-installed on the server with some basic settings. So that's it. We have WordPress application installed on Cloudways VPS all ready to go. So that's all for this time. For more tutorials, video guides and free resources, subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on Facebook and Twitter, and of course visit my website thegeneralistit.com. Thanks for watching.